It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the... Curious Giraffe Show, sit back and relax so we'll sing chat and laugh -o on the Curious Giraffe Show. I am so glad that all of you could be here and we have a big crew today. So I've asked Eli if he will help Jeanette, she's very curious, find out who's who on the Curious Crew today. What is your name? Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Angela. Hi, Hi Angela. Angela. What's your name? Ro. Hi, Hi Ro. Ro. What's your name? Eli. Hi, Hi Eli. Eli. What's your name? Calvin. Hi, Hi Calvin. Calvin. What's your name? Dorothy. Hi, Hi Dorothy. Dorothy. Hi, everybody. What's your name? Tim. Hi, Hi Tim. Tim. I already did that. Yes, and, and now we really know each other's names. And I want to give a special welcome to our brand new friend, Angela. And I met Angela and her mother this weekend and learned that they are here from China for a year. And her mother has been teaching at Amherst at the University, yeah. at the Un University of Massachusetts. So we are so happy she can be with us for this show and the next show. Yes, Maddie. That's where we live. And you live in Amherst. Or you live in Shutesbury. You live in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what, mm -hmm. yes. How many here live in Massachusetts? Uh, yeah, yeah. And you do right now. Yeah. Yes, yeah. right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to learn what today's show is about. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at Pelican and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Pelican just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it and we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different but we all belong. Today's topic. Giraffe looked at Tim Van Eggman and said, It's exciting that you're here to explore X Day with us. Tim said, When I think of X, I think of bugs. Underneath this one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world. A big high five, yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share, and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Tim, when you think of X, you think of bugs? Wait a minute. When you mm -hmm. think of X, what do any of you think of? What do you think of, Angela? Multiply. Multiplying. The X is a multiplying sign. That's a great answer. What do you think of, Emily? Xylophone. Xylophone starts with X. Anybody else? Think? I think of the alphabet. And the alphabet. Great. I so, think of space. And why, what makes you think of space with I letter have no X? no idea. You don't? I wonder if it's because one of the new rocket ships is called the SpaceX. Oh, yes, there's the SpaceX. That's probably it. Never heard of that before. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that, there's some part of you that just picked that up. Maddie. Exercise. Exercise oh. is a word that starts with E-X. That's right. Many words start with E-X. So, Tim, I was so excited. It's one of those words. When you gave me your idea, tell the children what makes you think of bugs when you think of letter X. Well, it made me think of the word exoskeleton. Uh, X, everybody try that. Exoskeleton. exoskeleton. What is that? And that is a whole bunch of the animal kingdom that instead of having bones inside them, like we do, and a lot of animals, like dogs, cats, and frogs, and all kinds of animals that have their bones inside them. Lions. They have, lions, yep. yeah, like lions too, they have their bone as a hard covering that kind of is like a container. Like insects, they have a hard shell and then that contains what's inside them. Or um, s crabs and lobsters and clams. 
So some shellfish, and they're called mollusks. So we learned a new word, exoskeleton. And I invited Tim because I also know he's a great storyteller, and he brought some songs. So take this off. Um, no, let's leave that on for right now, okay? Um, did you want to show us some of bug samples or oh, exoskeleton sure. samples? Ghosts yeah. have exoskeletons. What do? Ghosts. Ghosts? They're well, they don't skeletons, have our I guess. skeletons because there's not n anything on the inside, so it's on the outside. That's an interesting no, idea. This is a monarch skeleton. butterfly. Ooh. You can pass that around. No, it was, but it's not anymore. What and happened is, to it? I don't know. They it's, just have a short life. That's that's. And that's a dragonfly. Probably laid. Oh, that's a dragonfly. Okay. Oh yeah, the wings. Wings are not normal. Should I show my puppets? Sure. This is a finger puppet of a monarch. There, yeah, you want them to hold that? Sure. Okay, you can have a turn. What else? We have another dragonfly, Ooh. but it's been packed with other puppets, so its wings have seen days okay. when they stuck out more. But this one you can look at more closely than the one. Yeah, Ooh. that's a beautiful artistic and we have butter dragonfly. A red ant. Oh. So ants have exoskeletons. Yes. Wow, I never thought about that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that one cool? And then we have what we call a ladybug, which is also called a ladybird beetle. Oh. So a ladybug is a kind of beetle. Yes. All right. Great. OK. So um, you can, when, when you've had, each had a chance to see it, set it in the middle. And Tim has a story for us. And this is a story from Brazil. And I've never heard this story. Go a ahead. long time ago, beetle was a plain gray color. Mm. Now, beetle felt that was normal. But one day, beetle was creeping along the ground, and parrot up in, this, up in the tree saw beetle. Parrot had gold head feathers and a green body. Well, that's the color parrot's feathers were. And she said, Mark, beetle, where are you going? And Beetle said, I'm going on a long journey. Suddenly, Rat showed up and said, Ha! You're going on a long journey? You're going to take forever like that. Look at that. You're so slow. Look at me. I can run around all oh, rings around you. <laughs> oh, you're so slow. And, and look at you. You're just a plain gray color. Boring. As a matter of fact, look, you don't have brown fur like me. You don't have gold fur with black spots like the jaguar. You don't have yellow and, and gold and, and, and green feathers like parrot up there, you're just a plain gray ugly color. If I look like you, I'd just hide in the bushes. Go away, I don't want to look at you. Well, parrot didn't like what he heard. So he said, well, I have an idea. Let's have a race between rat and beetle. And to the winner, I'll give a new coat of whatever color the winner wants. And Rat said, ha, I'll win easy. I can run very well on my four strong legs. But look at Beetle. She just crawls along on those six sticks she calls legs. Well, Parrot said, ah, well, run along the river bank to that tree around the curve and go as fast as you can. And the one that gets there the first gets the new colors. On your mark. Get set, go. Well, Rat was off like a shot, and his legs were going so fast they were a blur, and he looked over his shoulder, and he didn't see Beetle anywhere. And he said, ha, I left that Beetle in her dust. You know, I can take it easy. I don't have to run that fast. She's probably creeping along out of sight, but it'll take forever for her to get there. You know, I'm going to think about what colors I'm going to ask parrot for. I, I, I like my brown fur coat really well, but maybe I'll ask for decorations like a green stripe down my back and three red dots. No, no, I'll ask for a gold stripe and three blue dots. That's it. Oh, here, I'll go to the tree. Big finish. Here we go. I go. <gasps> there was Beetle. And Beetle asked Rat, what took you so long, my friend? Huh. 
Rat said, how, how did a plain, slow creature like you get here ahead of me, running as fast as I could at some places? And Beetle said, I flew. You flew? I didn't know you could fly. You cheated. Parrot had come to the tree, and Parrot said, no, Beetle didn't cheat. I said that each should try and go as fast as they could. Now, Beetle doesn't boast about her wings. She keeps them modestly tucked under her wing covers, and she only uses them when she needed. But she needed them this time, and she won fair and square. Maybe this will teach you, Rat, not to judge others just how they look on the outside. Some of the strangest or plainest looking creatures may have powers that we ourselves lack. Mm -hmm. Well, Rat wasn't happy and he went grumbling away. But as for Beetle, she asked for a coat that was as green as the forest with gold dots that were as yellow as the sun. And those are the colors that she wears to this day. Thank you. What a great story. Thank you. Wow. How about... I have a few things to show you, too. In my mystery box, because Tim told me his idea. And just like Tim, I said, I wonder if I can find an exoskeleton, even though I never knew that word, even be, until he gave us this idea. So I wondered, and I looked up about it, and it said sometimes shells are exoskeletons. Well, they are. That the soft part of the animal is on the inside, and the outside shell protects it. So just like last time, pass those around. Here you go, you let it be more. And I'm going to get ready to... To, well, and let's, um, I guess I'll tell my story. We're going to take turns, okay? Sure. All right, because share one big sky is <coughs> sharing ideas, too, and when we have a visitor. So I'm going to ask you if you would turn two pages on the song chart, and let's see if we get to Grandmother Tree. Yes. Okay. Actually, turn back one page. Nope, turn forward one page. I think you flipped. Oops. There we go. It's magic. All those pages. There is Grandmother Tree. She is a real tree that lives in Leverett, Massachusetts. And this In what? Leverett, Massachusetts? Yes. Do you I know? I used to live there. And I used to teach there. And this song is a true story of how the children in Leverett saved Grandmother Tree. Now turn the page. And as you study the shells, you can listen to the story and enjoy. Wait, can you Okay, you can unwrap that. That's an especially fragile one. Okay. Oh, there is something. Some... I have never seen it. That's the string. Okay. Did you want to say? No, I was just wondering if you knew what the name of that particular kind of shell That's was. an angel wing shell. Oh. That's an angel wing. It actually looks like a fish's fin. And you, it really does look like a fin. You I thought that too? It. Yeah. Yeah? Because I thought I seen it before it does. Wing. It looks like a butterfly wing too. Yeah. Okay, so here's a true story. And listen for where the bugs come in. I don't know if you'll catch it, but here we go. On our school playground, on one side you'll see our very own guardian, Grandmother Tree. She stood long before the old blacktop was paved. And here's the true story of how she was saved. Grandmother was just like all pines in this place, except that on one side she had a kind face and down near the ground there's a great resting place a stone is ingrown in her trunk near the base on hot sunny days children played in her shade around her wide trunk fairy houses are made while she watches over the new trail beyond right next to our wetland and small tadpole pond and 
so set the scene where we played every day. It's how we expected it always to stay till one clear blue morning we all were dismayed. <gasps> On grandmother's back a red X had been sprayed. Now what could this mean? Tell us what could this be? Oh why have they painted our grandmother tree? We trembled and cried and our hearts filled with dread. Why was she crossed out? Would our friends soon be dead? Oh no! We met with the principal, found out the facts. Why grandmother tree had been marked for the X. He said that her branches had grown much too tall. If the wind got too strong, they could fall on us all. Could they save the top part and leave us the rest? Would they slow down and think before taking the best? He said he acknowledged their show of concern, but we should just go now that we'd had our turn. With songs and with song. Okay, turn the page a little bit and just hold it up for us because the back part has the word. Uh, with cards and with songs. Here we go. With cards and with songs and with trembling fears, we offered our grandmother tree our sad tears. We offered her water, we offered her hugs. We kissed her rough bark, bid farewell to her bugs. Well, they held off the cutting until school was out. When she was cut down, we would not be about. When fall came, we dreaded that big empty space. But wonder of wonders, we saw her kind face. We stepped back and studied her branches up high. Grandma had a haircut way up in the sky. The kids hugged their teacher, who hugged them right back. And grandmother winked at that whole happy pack. Grandmother still winks at that whole happy pack. So she had an X on her, and in that case, the X meant she was marked to be cut down. But what happened? She grew back. That they loved her, and couldn't they figure out a way to save her and still keep the playground safe? And so they didn't cut her down. And where did you hear about bugs? With cards and with songs and with trembling fear. They offered their grandmother tree or sad tears. They offered her water, they offered her hugs. They kissed her rough bark, bid farewell to her bugs. Yes, yes, yes. Emily, that was perfect. That's exactly right, because little bugs live everywhere. You have another song about bugs. I do. And okay. I have an instrument that not many people may have seen. It's a little tangled up here in the guitar strap. Okay, we're going to need you to flip back one, Ooh. two pages. Let's try not two to knock pages. over the yes. words. So, Jim just made up this version of a song. Yes, Ro. That looks like an arrow. I mean, a bow. It looks like a bow, Tom. It does. It's called a mouth bow. And it might have started out... Let me move this back a little bit. It might have started out as a bow and arrow type bow. Miss Angela. Um, how do you play this? I was about to demonstrate. That's how yeah, I don't maybe know. somebody found out that a, a bow and arrow bow could be a music bow. <laughs> and that's by using it just by itself. You just get a kind of a, a sound. But if you use your mouth, you know how you can make different sounds if you change the shape of your mouth? Like, like that? Well, you do that with the string.
sounds so, kind of like a bug, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do with this song. And you can echo along. Um, so after I sing, I'll sing one part, and you echo it after me, and then another part, and then you echo it after me, too. Sure, go for so it. So we get to share the song. Water Strider. Water Strider. Water Strider. Water Strider. How do you stay afloat? How do you stay afloat? Well, my feet have little hairs of trap air. My feet have little hairs of trap air. So I don't need a boat. 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 Caterpillar. 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 Don't you hate to creep and crawl? Don't you hate to creep and crawl? Well, I'll be a butterfly some fine day. Oh, I'll be a butterfly some fine day. So I don't mind at all. So I don't mind at all. So I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. Little cricket. Little cricket. Little cricket. Little cricket. What makes you chirp so sweet? What makes you chirp so sweet? I rub my wings together to play my song. I rub my wings together to play my song. My true love for to meet. 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 Grasshopper. 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 What makes you hop so high? What makes you hop so high? I've got springs in my hind legs. I've got springs in my hind legs. So I can jump up toward the sky. So I can jump up toward the sky. So I can jump up towards the sky. So I can jump up towards the sky. That is a first. Have any of you ever seen someone play a mouth? That, what do you call that? A mouth bow. A mouth bow. Or it's also bow. called a tune bow. Or a tune bow. That is so fun. That was really, really fun. How do you get your mouth to do that? Well, you, it's, it's sort of like you're using your mouth as the echo chamber for the string. So I put it, see, across, sort of not in my mouth, but I lay it across against my it. cheek and then sort of put it into the corner of my mouth. Mm -hmm so that my mouth, it's called resonating, you're resonating it. And then when you change the shape of your mouth, it's sort of like a... Try that, try it. Can you hear a change of sound? You can get high sounds and low sounds. That is so cool. That is totally cool. Okay. Tim, if you reach and get the bag that's next to you. Sure. And I'm just going to look carefully in here. I didn't know that he was going to look at that. He wrote a song about a cricket, and I was looking around for insects that had an exoskeleton because I learned that. And if it's hard for you to see, you can see I put air holes here, and I only caught it today, and I'm going to let it go today. But my big brother always loved to look at insects, and so he taught me to put air holes in a jar, and I could look at things for a little while. So I want you to, to have a chance to see that cricket. And here's an artsy beetle. It's not green, but it certainly is gold, and this is fun to study, too. So this is quite heavy, so be aware when you pass it to your neighbor. Okay, and, and go ahead and pass it on once you've seen a little bit, because we're going to run out of time. I have one last, oh, let's go ahead to the Sarah Pirtle song, okay? Is that you, what you'd like to do? I think sure. so, okay. I think so. Dorothy, there's two of them. Yes, yes. Oh, and that's still got a lot of energy. What, uh, cricket, cricket, what makes you hop so high, and the grasshopper. So why don't you turn to the last song, 
and we're going to sing a Sarah Pirtle song about bugs. She thought a lot about bugs, too. She lives in western Massachusetts. Uh, Sarah Pirtle. Yeah, keep going. Oh, one the more. very Is this last real one. Gold or no, just that's a brass, a heavy brass. It's actually a door stopper made in the shape of a beetle. Okay, so this is um, Sarah Pearl's song about bugs. Okay, and we'll sing it together and look up here and you can do the hand motions as we go. Go ahead. Okay, should we uh, have them repeat a line? No, uh, just we gotta keep we'll going, going. Or we're go almost done. Go when you bug, you bite bug. bug. Well, oh, big, wait, wait, excuse me, wait Tim. Bug. Tim, we're looking at a song chart and it starts Ooh. with the words, I was happy on my step. So we're going to start there. We'll Here we start go. there. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I was happy on my steps, playing by the hour. That mighty bug, bug came up to me, thought, thought I was a flower. Get ready. Go away, you bug, you terrible bug. Scram, scram, scrambly. Go away, you bug, you mighty bug. Fly back to your family. Last night that bug bit my eye. When I woke up, up it was pasted. Oh why, oh why, did, did you bite me on the eye? Did you like the way it tasted? Get it ready. Go away, you bug, you terrible bug. bug. Scram, scram, scrambly. Go away, you bug, you bitey bug. Why that to your family? I was itching in my sleep, so I wear socks on my fingers. I think it should work the other way. I'm going to put socks on their stingers. That's a good idea. Go away, you bug, you terrible bug. Scram, scram, scrambly. Go away, you bug, you bitey bug. Fly back to your family. There's bites all up and down my arm. It's getting quite ridiculous. Instead of all this bite, 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 I wish that you just tickle us. Go away, you bug, you terrible bug. Scram, scram, scrambly. Go away, you bug, you bitey bug. Fly back to your family. We get quiet. Go back inside your little house. Inside the weeping willow. Climb inside your sleeping bag and hide under your pillow. Go away, you bug, you terrible bug. Scram, scram, scrambly. Go away, you bug, you bitey bug. Back to your family. So we thought about a lot of X words, and now we have to say goodbye. We've been together. We've had a great time. Let's stand up and sing our giraffe song, which we're going to teach Tim. All right, stand up tall. There's a bug right Like there. a giraffe. Oh, there's a fly. Okay, stand up. There, you said scram, scrambly, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, we join hands. Do you want to wear that right now? Is that what you're asking? Here we go. Okay, look up. Stand up tall like a giraffe. And we say, keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Good, here we go. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Water Strider. Water Strider. Water Strider. Water Strider. How do you stay afloat? How do you stay afloat? Well, my feet have little hairs a trap air. My feet have little hairs a trap air. So I don't need a boat. 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 Okay, go ahead. X marks the spot, a circle and a dot. Four big boulders rolling down the hill. Spiders crawling up your back. They bite you. They bite you. A gentle breeze. A tight squeeze. And now you've got the jitterbugs. <laughs>